Ray Lowy. How are active duty, enlisted Medal of Honor awardees treated by officers? With extreme respect. Remember, this is the nation's highest military award for service rendered in valor on the battlefield. There is no statute or military regulation about it, but tradition holds that all members of the military services are strongly encouraged to salute Congressional Medal of Honor MOH, recipients, no matter their rank, and no matter if they are in uniform or not, as seen below. You therefore could see a general or admiral saluting a sergeant, as what happened in 2011 when Admiral Eric T. Olson saluted SFC Leroy Petrie at a ceremony at the Pentagon during Petrie's induction to the Pentagon's Hall of Heroes. In addition to the respect of the salute, MOH holders also receive a special pension of $1,329.58 per month above and beyond any other military benefits and pensions. Here are the other benefits that MOH holders receive. Special entitlements to Space A Air Transportation most military members can travel for free on military aircraft on a space-available basis. MOH holders get to fly by skipping any lines or weights. Special parking at on-base facilities such as commissaries, gyms and recreational facilities. Enlisted recipients are entitled to a supplemental uniform allowance. Commissary and exchange privileges includes eligible dependents. Admission to the United States Military Academies for qualified children of recipients without nomination and quota requirements. Normally this is limited to each state senator nominating up to 10 prospects each for admission. 10% increase in retired pay. Medal of Honor flag. Allowed to wear the uniform at any time as long as the standard restrictions are observed. Many states offer Medal of Honor automobile license plates. Guaranteed interment at Arlington National Cemetery, which is normally reserved for retirees or active duty service members. The internment is with full military honors with a nine-member team including six pallbearers, a chaplain, an officer or NCO in charge and a bugler to play taps. Their headstone also receives special gold lettering. The Medal of Honor flag flies during burial services for Captain Thomas J. Hudner. Finally, one personal note here. Please keep in mind that the Congressional Medal of Honor is not awarded, it is earned. As a veteran myself, if there is any reader out there that happens to be a Medal of Honor recipient, thank you for your service and your sacrifice to our country. You are truly American heroes, and for that you have earned my respect and gratitude. I salute you. Edit, there have been several comments to my post that I feel need to be included in this answer so readers may fully know the importance and magnitude of the MOH. There are currently 74 living MOH recipients, 
4 were earned from WW2, 5 from the Korean War, 52 from the Vietnam War and 13 from the Afghan-Iraq Wars. Of all the 3,522 medals bestowed to date, more than 60% were awarded posthumously. Obviously it's not a requirement to be killed in action to be considered for a MOH, but when you consider the millions of men and women that have served in our nation's military since the MOH was created in 1863, this is an incredibly small number of people to receive it, and it is just another reason why it is so special. eighty six point eight k views view one thousand two hundred and ninety three upvotes